Week 4. Sesh 4. La Sesh. Mate, hello, we're off. Week four, session four. This is your last session of your free four week glute program. Sam has decided to up our game even more and added dumbbell. So, over the last few weeks, you've been doing three sets of five with a five second lowering phase. Then, we opened it to four sets of five. Then, we did five sets of five. This week is six sets of five with the lowering phase slow as well. We'll slow it down. But we've added a dumbbell, so the lowering phase is just going to be not a five second dead slow, but still control. So if you haven't got a dumbbell, you'll slow the movement down like we have been over the last few weeks, okay? So you've been doing a five second lowering phase, just to keep it within the time limit we've got for the camera, we've decided to add a dumbbell and just increase the tempo a little bit. So it's six sets of five on each side. Squeeze glutes and hip extension at the top, wall supported if you need it for your balance, good posture. Once you've done your six sets, you need your bands. Can't be here, it's four weeks already. Please like, subscribe, share and tell all your pals. It's free sessions. It's a free glute program made up of 12 sessions and we'll progressively overload each week. We'll give you loads of coaching cues, technique tips, all for free. Any chance? Six sets of five. We're going to slow, 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 a little bit slower on the way down if you can. And then drive heel in the box. Stand up tall, and that's when we squeeze. But don't worry if you haven't got a dumbbell, you can just take the movement nice and slow like we have been over the last few weeks, yeah? This is exercise one, and then we're on the bands for exercise two. So we're still gonna try and slow on the way down. So week one, two and three, you didn't have your dumbbell and we're just going for a five second count on the way down and each week we'll add an extra set on. So now we've come to your last week, we're gonna shoot for six sets of five on each leg. Sani just decided to up our game by adding a resistance. So we're still thinking about that control on the way down and then drive, hip extension, squeeze glutes now. Drive, hip extension, squeeze glutes. Still trying to maintain posture, keeping your shoulder blades pinned, keeping chest up. You'll have to switch your core arm because this movement requires a lot of stability and balance. Once you've done your six sets of five reps, you're gonna ditch your box and you're gonna grab your bands if you have them. Well done, Sam. Control, posture. How many? Good work, posture. That's all right, just take your time, core tight. Yeah, drive, squeeze. Yeah, nice Mara. So this is last, uh, Sandy's last set. And remember, you, if you don't have a dumbbell, don't worry. If you do have dumbbells available, then you can go heavier each week if you, did, if you have been using a dumbbell. Or you can increase reps, or you can increase sets. And that way we can just crease, uh, continue to progressively overload. So there's plenty of other ways you can do it. Tempo, speed, resistance, rep sets, just to get extra volume when you feel ready to get extra volume. Last one? Yeah, that's it. Well done. Right, so exercise two. You had your hands on the wall the last few weeks, you created a slight angle with the hips, back stays straight, and what we're doing with the bands is quite aggressively 
adding tension with the knees. Now what we're going to do this week is, this is exercise one on the next block. Your next exercise is back extensions. We're going to superset them. So what that means is Simon's going to perform 25 reps, straight into 25 back extensions, and then hit that three times, okay? Here we go. First set, 25 reps. So what Simon's doing here is pushing the knees out for hip abduction, feet position, like we've been discussing, can depend where you'll get the most good activation. Some people prefer narrow stance and just take the uh, knees and feet out. Some people prefer a wider stance and add tension that way. Back stays straight, core stays tight. Play around with the feet position until you get maximum group uh, activation. Straight down into back extensions. Every time you lift up, we're going to think about squeezing glutes and it's 25 reps again. Then you back up against the wall. So this will be one set after Sandy's finished her back extension and we're looking for three sets. Options would be to reduce the reps back down to 20 like we did last week or 15 like we did in week two. Rather than jumping up in fives, you might just jump up in two or three reps. So see how you feel. Sandy's going to go for 25. Tunes on. Position, 25 reps. Once you've hit your 25, you're back on the deck for your back extensions. Well done. Squeeze now, one, twos, squeeze. First set of five down, well done. Another 15 reps on set two. We know the exercises, we've built it up, and then we've just put a couple of exercises together just to keep the time down, but still get the work in. So that's why we've superset that. If you've got more time, you don't necessarily have to superset it. It's a set three, isn't it? Yeah. Great work. So we've just managed to get a little bit more volume in in a shorter period, but obviously it means Sadie's getting no rest time. This is Sadie's last set at 25, and then we're moving on to your next exercise where we do need the bench, steady or chair. This is Sandy's favourite exercise. <laughs> and I think she should have had a dumbbell for the last week. <laughs> but it's her call. So you finish your 25 here, and then your upper body's elevated onto your bench. You've been playing around with upper body position on your bench to find a comfortable spot. I think people normally have it too high up on the neck. So get, it, get your upper body further up, find a comfortable spot. We're going to bring one leg off the floor and we're going to do single leg hip thrusts. And this week we're looking for 25. If you want, we can also keep the band around your knee. Let's go all inside. 
<laughs> so if you want to make it harder, you can, you can do body weight and you can just increase the reps to 25 and that'll be a step up from last week. Or you can increase the reps and include a band, or you can increase the reps, add a band and a dumbbell. You've got loads of options. We're off. Yeah, have a rest, you haven't going right, rest yet. I mean, it's a little dance pal. 25. Time wise, 10 and a half minutes. And what that means. Oh, this is Gamfred! Hey, Gamfred! She's going for it. <laughs> So that favourite exercise. This is the This is the brutal one. So Sandy is also adding a band, add a dumbbell, single legs, 25 on each three sets. Yeah, easy. Let's that. go. Easy that. We've got 10 minutes of tape left, mate. You've stolen, yeah. Oh, How are you? No dumbbell. Okay. So we're talking about foot position. So Sally make one pick up, just touch their balance. Okay, and then if you can't, we took the chin in, we take the hips to hip extension, and that's when we think about squeezing glutes, we don't overshoot the hips. With Sandy using the band, she's also gonna be adding tension on the band with both knees and still getting glute, um, glute activation by getting hip extension at the top. 25 on one side, switch, 25 on the other, then break three times. What about using the dumbbell on the last set? I'll just leave the dumbbell there in case you change your mind. Chene, oh, no. look for your head, 25 reps. Come on, Tao, you made it this far. This is your final session of your glute transformation. Drive. Squeeze. Oh, oh they're the killers, aren't they? Right there. Cool. I think the guys should do the last set, please. No. Hey, guys, I think you should do the last set, please. Gaz is doing the bicep transformation, that's coming next. That's what I'm doing. Bigger arms. Oh, man. Biceps for me. Set two. Get up. One, two. Drive, one. Break after this. Mega mate, well done. You got this? Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a set of 10 sand. Look straight ahead. Two. Magic that, 15 in the bag. 10, nine, Eight, seven, up for six, fives, fours, go on! Get up! Right, last set. 
You got this, you got this, let's go. Think of those glutes, Tau. Well done. Remember, this is your last set. This is your last set. <laughs> Five. Four. Oh. It's worth it though, isn't it? It's all worth it. Hard work pays off and all that, you know. What's the other ones? Challenge isn't worth doing That's unless it challenges it. you. All well, the motivational quotes. Think about all them, San. Train insane or remain? The same. <laughs> no trainy, no gainy. <laughs> Stick no arms, girls. I'm, I'm all about them biceps. Let's go. Keep your glutes. Superb, mate. Is that it? Hallelujah. Yeah. Alright, right, check this out. Check this out. The refresher. On week one, you did a minute wall sit. But then we'll give you a minute rest, and you did that three times. Week two came, you did a minute wall sit, and we'll only give you 40 seconds rest. Three times. Week three was a minute wall sit. 20 seconds rest three times. Week four. No rest. Three minute wall sit. Now obviously a three minute wall sit isn't easy. So at any time, at any point when it gets too much, you come up, you shake your legs out, bang, you lock back in. Once this three minutes is complete, that's the end of your glute four week program. Let's go Tab. We're off in three, Two, one, lock in tight. Three minutes to start it. So every time we've been doing these wall sits, we've been talking about the three points of contact. We've also been talking about quads, being, uh, thighs being parallel to the floor. We've also been talking about feet position, about shoulder width. Once you've got that locked in, control your breathing. Keep your hands down, pull the belly button in tight and stay there for as long as you can. I'll give you the heads up. Every 60 seconds, whenever it gets too much and you need to shake the legs out, shake the legs out. There's one thing we forgot. <laughs> so last week we included a band. So this week we'll have to include a band as well. So, week one and week two we just did body weight. Week three, we added a band. So what we did with the band is we now add that external rotation, that hip abduction, so we get more glutes. Week four, we've got to do the same. You're already a minute down. You've got two minutes left to finish your four week glute program. What happened? We're done. Two minutes. Core's tight. No matter any time it gets too much, come up, shake it out, go again. You've got 90 seconds left. If you are using the band, make sure you keep in tension. You've been grafting for 1 minute 40 seconds on this wall sit. You've got just over a minute to go and while you're finished. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. And tell your pals about it, get them to subscribe. We appreciate it massively. And look, you've got one minute left. <laughs> oh, hey. I do that, man. Shit, he's that was predictable, aren't we? seconds I mean you've done so well all that <laughs> tension on band and the resistance on the legs three minute wall sit
please get in touch and let me know how you found it. What's next? Four week abs or four weeks arms? Well done.